I was a just turned out brand new journeyman. We had to lift a centrifugal pump out of the back of a pickup truck. I wanted to go to a different part of the project and pick up a forklift and told them, you know, just wait right here. We'll do our pre-task plan while I'm getting the forklift to get this thing out of here. And they got a, uh, basically a duct roused about uh, a very wrong lifting apparatus for this procedure. And as I'm walking around the corner, the whole thing tipped over. The pump fell on the guy's leg. Uh, you know, I, everybody's in a panic. Early on, we were, we were building a safe way. They overloaded one portion of the roof. Well, unfortunately, we had about 10 guys working under the, in, in the, under the area that they overloaded the roof. Within 15 minutes of the, them loading the roof, you started hearing cracks, and then it just was a, just a ginormous just kaboom, and rocks came down. Approximately 21 years ago, I had my first job as a superintendent. I was learning on the run, it was pretty green. I was building a new lift station for the city of Castle Rock. We had a large pick to do, the first section of the new catch basin. We rigged the first pick with nylon straps. What we didn't do was inspect the rigging properly, and one strap snapped. When that strap snapped, the boom jerked instantly. The other strap snapped into the hole with the basin. It hit, rolled over to the side a little bit, scared the hell out of me. So we were on a job site in Southern California, probably about 25 plus years ago. And it was a tilt up building. And around the corner through the garage opening of this tilt um, came a pettibone forklift. And he had his mast up and he wasn't watching where he was driving. And he crashed directly into one of the columns that was supporting the roof. It caused a domino effect and almost every single panel on that roof structure came down. It was absolutely terrifying. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that. Earlier in my career, it was uh, down in a project in Eugene, Oregon. I happened to be walking the job site. It was windy that day. And as we walked around the corner, we actually seen the load come off the crane. We looked up and a couple of minutes later, a lot of noise took place. Something shifted and the entire structure came down and rolled over. By the time we got around the corner, there was a, there was a, a man, he looked to be in his early 30s, an iron worker, and the structure was uh, right on his thigh, and he was buried in the dirt. It made a big impact on me, um, made me realize how important my family was. Opened my eyes to how easily and quickly something can happen, how fast it can all go down. Um, and with people that aren't experienced, and they don't have the proper training, um, you definitely want to avoid putting those guys on any kind of central lifts or any type of forklifts. I was lucky that day, and my guys are lucky, and I learned a valuable lesson. Definitely uh, that feeling set my tone for safety. That's nothing you want to see is one of your men down. Even if you think you've got it figured out, check it more than once. I mean, human error all the time. Hi, I'm Mason Evans. I'm the president of J.H. Kelly. Welcome to our company. We're headquartered in Longview, Washington. We are a fourth generation family owned construction company. My great grandfather, Jack Kelly, founded the company. We do projects in Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana. We work in oil refineries, paper mills, power plants on the industrial side. And on the commercial side, office buildings, hospitals, central plants, university work. Safety is a core value of J.H. Kelly. Uh, we won't compromise on it. We need you to go home in the same condition that you came to work in, and uh, we need to watch out for each other. So let's be professional, safe, and uh, do right by our customers. So welcome aboard. Hi, I'm Willie McComey, Vice President and Safety Director for J.H. Kelly. Uh, welcome to the project. I'm going to spend a few minutes with this video showing you some insight into our company history, culture, and our safety expectations. J.H. Kelly has had a culture of safety at the start over 90 years ago. We promote a safe, healthy, quality work environment. That culture was forged through years of hard work and attention to detail. That culture continues on with you. 
We are responsible for the lives of hundreds on our work site each and every day, and our greatest safety asset is you. Through this film, you will be oriented and held to the same high standards of our construction family. So listen to stories of ones that have built before us. Take notes. Listen and learn, because safety is what we do. Welcome aboard. You're going to work for a good company. We're going to give you all the tools to be successful and safe. So I'm going to tell you to not only take on board what we give you in the training, but rely on your common sense and err on the side of caution. And don't put yourself in harm's way. It's not worth it. Safety checkpoint number one, pre-task plan, otherwise known as a PTP. Pre-task planning, or PTP, allows the entire project team to begin each day on the same page. Each morning before work begins, time is set aside for all work crews to participate in a task planning process that one, identifies hazards, and two, provides a safe way of accomplishing that day's task. A proper PTP should identify the following, the day's work activities, hazards associated with each work activity, and the steps crews will take to avoid the identified hazards. Remember, if conditions change throughout the day, a new PTP must be completed. PTP gives each employee a voice in creating the best and safest work plans for completing the task at hand. It also allows a way for the team members to take responsibility for their own safety and for the safety of their fellow workers. With regard to excavation work, a certified competent person will oversee all work activities. This person will ensure proper protections are in place and that all locates and permits have been properly completed. Safety checkpoint number two, incident injury reporting. All incidents, regardless of the severity, must be reported. That way, they can be researched and steps can be taken to prevent them from happening again. Supervisors will make a documented report of every incident, even those without injury, within 24 hours of the occurrence. Remember, accident reports highlight problem areas. Through the use of good reports, accident patterns can be detected and resources directed towards prevention. Accident reports make excellent training tools. The cause and effects of the accidents can be reviewed at safety meetings. All accidents and incidents must be investigated regardless of the extent of the injury or the damage. The focus must be fact-finding, not fault-finding. Recommendations for corrective action must be made, bring to management's attention, and ensure that it is acted upon. Superintendent slash foreman will be provided with an accident investigation kit, which must remain on site. Please know the emergency phone numbers for your job site. The phone to our main office is 360-423-5510, and the receptionist can direct your call to the appropriate resource. For the location of the first aid supplies, please ask your job site safety representative. Also, a list of medical providers nearest you is available in the job site trailer. All of this information will be covered in your site-specific orientation. Checkpoint three, personal protective equipment. These items are required in all areas of our job sites. Hard hats, eye protection, or safety glasses with side shields, proper gloves for the job, industrial grade work boots. Additional equipment which may be required are hearing protection, face shields, goggles, respiratory protection. Remember that PPE isn't just a part of your uniform, it's a part of safety. If you need additional help finding proper PPE, ask your job site safety rep. The most important tool that every person brings to the project site is their hands. And it's also the thing that's constantly in line of fire. Uh, it's an asset that you can't live without, and it's something that we need to be cognizant of, keeping it out of the bite, uh, keeping it away from pinch points, uh, making sure we're holding hammers in the right spot. And along that note, you also need to be cognizant of, you know, whether are you wearing the right gloves or for the task, not the job, but the task. All of those items are provided as part of the J.H. Kelly safety plan. And if you don't have the right tools to protect your hands or any other part of your body, we'll protect them for you and we'll give you the tools to do it. Checkpoint four, fall protection. Falls are among the most common causes of serious work-related injuries and deaths. Employers must set up the workplace to prevent employees from falling off of overhead platforms, elevated workstations, or into holes in the floor and walls. Fall protection must be utilized when working at heights. Depending on project location, it may be at four or six feet. It is also required regardless of height when working over dangerous equipment and machinery. To prevent employees from being injured from falls, we must guard every floor hole into which a worker can accidentally walk using a railing and tow board or a floor hole cover, provide a guardrail and tow board around every elevated open-sided platform, floor, or runway, 
provide equipment and training for anyone who may be exposed to falls. Other means of fall protection include safety nets, stair railings, and handrails. Provide working conditions that are free of known dangers. Keep floors and work areas in as clean and, so far as possible, a dry condition. The first thing we need to do with fall protection is make sure the hazard is red barricade taped and that no employee has risk of entering an area that's unsafe. Safety checkpoint number five, lead paint asbestos. While asbestos in new construction is a thing of the past, many of the facilities we work in still may have asbestos and lead paint present. Prior to performing any work, it must be determined if we could come into contact with any, and if so, have it abated prior to coming into the area. J.H. Kelly will identify any known hazards before you begin work. That we promise. Checkpoint six, mentoring and buddy system. All new employees will be paired with somebody who has been on the project already. This helps the new employee feel connected to the job, co-workers, and the company, so he or she understands our expectations, site-specific requirements, and our corporate culture. Safety checkpoint number seven, hydration. Some things to think about regarding proper hydration. You're working outside, in the sun, long hours, limited breaks. High sugar energy drinks, coffee, and alcohol the day prior to work can all lead to dehydration during the workday. The importance of hydration goes a long ways. Drinking coffee, drinking energy drinks, all of that limits your ability to stay cool in those hot temperatures. Try to drink eight ounces of water per hour. The same applies in cold weather. And also when you are wearing those warm clothes, you're gonna perspire and burn the water that you don't have. We want everybody to go home the same way they showed up. Safety checkpoint eight, confined spaces. Construction sites are made up of various and numerous confined spaces. These spaces are hazardous in nature and must be treated with respect. Air monitoring, power ventilation, standby rescue trained person. Safety checkpoint nine, HAZCOM. All employees must be provided the opportunity to know of any possibly hazardous chemicals in the work area. MSDS safety data sheets are available for all chemicals and substances, whether brought on site by J.H. Kelly or as part of the facility's operations. Data sheets outline the chemicals in the product, safe storage and handling measures, PPE requirements, and first aid measures to be taken. Contact your supervisor or safety professional should you need any information on chemicals. Safety checkpoint 10, lockout tagout. Workers must be protected from potentially hazardous energy sources, which may be electrical, pneumatic, fluid, steam, gases, or gravity. Competent, authorized employees are responsible for ensuring personnel are trained in the use of isolation systems. After isolation, the system must be tested by trying to restart the equipment, testing power feeds with a voltmeter, or opening drain valves. All affected employees must place their own lock and tag on the isolation sources or lockbox. No exceptions. Safety checkpoint number 11, equipment. At J.H. Kelly, heavy equipment is a part of almost every project we build. Working safely in and around all machinery and equipment is a requirement for working at J.H. Kelly. First, some specifics. Forklifts will only be operated by those people trained and that a current forklift operator's card. If you don't have one and your job requires one, contact your safety rep to sign up. Anybody operating a scissor or boom lift must be trained in its use as well. Inspect all equipment before using it and do not use it if any deficiencies are found. All crane operators must have an NCCCO or equivalent certification. All rigging must be conducted under the supervision of a qualified rigger. As a site pedestrian, be sure to make eye contact with the operator before crossing in front of or behind their path. Remember, heavy equipment cannot break easily, but your body can. Be safe and be aware around all equipment. And remember, inspect the work area, ensuring adequate clearances around all power lines while lifting any object. Safety checkpoint 12, stop work authority. When it comes to stopping an unsafe action, if you see something that doesn't look right, it probably isn't. We expect all of our employees to have the knowledge and courage to stop any work activity that may be or appears hazardous. And finally, never walk past an unsafe act or condition without doing something about it. Employee involvement is the key to a safe work environment. Checkpoint 13, line of fire. We need to think and plan for the what-ifs in all of our activities. What is going to happen if the load shifts? Think about and address body positioning in all tasks. Secure all materials. Wear appropriate PPE. Address on your pre-task plans and share with coworkers. Safety checkpoint 14, stretch and flex. 
Stretch and Flex is a program implemented on all J.H. Kelly project sites and offices as part of our injury-free environment culture. This daily activity involves stretching exercises to warm up muscles and help prevent soft tissue injuries. Announcements are also made during this time, which promotes team camaraderie. Ultimately, Stretch and Flex is a daily reminder to put safety first. At all levels, the J.H. Kelly people exhibit real working knowledge of safety. We set goals, we write them down, we publish them, we measure ourselves against those goals, and we publish those on a regular basis. It's a real value, and it, it rises above all those priorities, so budget and schedule pressures can't ever change that. Our people feel comfortable reporting safety issues and concerns to their superiors, and that's a very important part of having a safety culture where that's encouraged. So if something doesn't look right, doesn't feel right, making you uncomfortable, this guy or gal is making you uncomfortable and, and nobody's paying attention, uh, grab your foreman, grab your shop steward, come grab your superintendent, whoever it may be, and get the issue taken care of. Don't just sit back and assume that that's the way it is. Listen, pay attention, and have the right attitude. You are surrounded by a lot of experience, a lot of years of people that have been doing these trades for a long time. There's never a dumb question when it comes to safety or anything going on on the job. Don't be afraid to ask. The best chance you have of success uh, to, have a, to have a safe project is if everybody's watching out for each other uh, throughout the course of the day and actually caring for each other. Because if you start out on the right foot, you develop a core group of people that start the whole project every day on a safe note. And then when you bring new people in, it's not necessarily led by the safety and the senior management, it's led by the core group of personnel that's out in the field doing the work every day. Your safety approach is a condition of your employment at J.H. Kelly. It's not an option. Don't compromise the value of safety. Don't take your harness off, don't take your hard hat off, don't cheat, follow your teeth pre-test plan, and you'll be able to go home to your family at night. Everyone's important on our construction teams, whether you're a green apprentice or a seasoned superintendent, we need everybody and uh, we need to watch out for each other. So listen to the good ideas that come from the new guys, take the wisdom from the guys that have been there before, and most importantly, let's work together.